Welcome to Super Freelancers PH Podcast. We are Candice and Margaret. We're friends and business partners and we'll talk about freelancing and life as creative entrepreneurs. We usually talk on a daily basis and discuss the freelancing space and talk about our experience navigating the landscape of a modern freelancer. So why not make it a podcast and let you join in, right? Let you hear some of our thoughts about freelancing and hopefully give you some inspiration to get out, create, and bring your ideas to life. Subscribe to Super Freelancers PH wherever you find your podcast and expect weekly uploads from us as we break down the latest trends in freelancing. Okay, now it's clear, it's time to do some freelancing. Hi guys, I'm Margaret and Candice here, your Super Freelancers Peach co-creators and host of this podcast. So we are now on our 10th episode and the feedback has been very good. And we can't thank you enough guys for all your support since we started this podcast last June. And as we approach the ending of season one, we'd like to introduce you to our new type of episode, uh, which we're so excited. We are going to interview Filipino freelancers from the Philippines and Philippines and all around the globe. So we can't wait to chat with our first Filipino freelancer guest in this podcast. So let's start, guys. Before we start this episode, please subscribe to this podcast. We have new episodes every Wednesday. Subscribe to Super Freelancers PH on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, or wherever you may find your podcast. Also, if you think someone can benefit from this, please feel free to share. So for this episode, we have Jen Obenza. She's the co-owner of Downhop, a plan shop for your every home. They offer pickup in Davao and Tagum City. She's also a partner of Kamagon Business Solutions, a virtual office solutions agency. And of course, she's been in the freelancing world for six years as a travel consultant. So be prepared, seven questions for Jen. So let's dive in. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> long time no talk. <laughs> yeah, long time no so, talk. So Jen, can you tell us about you and what do you do as a freelancer? What I do, I do a lot of things actually. So <laughs> besides um, the, you said something about me being a travel consultant. consultant. So that's my like day job. So which basically it's like my that's what I've been doing for six years now. But on the side, so I have other projects, um, including Katong Dahon Hub. Besides my day job as a travel consultant, so I have other projects. So kato including um Dahon Hub, which I started about two years ago, I think. Um it's Dili Pasha Dahon Hub. But yeah. I stopped um because medyo difficult ang logistics for me kay I live in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. And most of the clients are in the downtown area, so I can just stop. And then um, along the way, I met like a few people sa na community of plant. Mm-hmm. They call themselves or ourselves plant hoarders, Davao plant <laughs> hoarders. So <laughs> I met a couple of friends there who showed interest in kanang gusto sila magplant shop po. So mm-hmm. morag relaunch namo siya, nag rebrand me. Mm-hmm. So Mona na siya, Dahon Hub na siya karun. Yeah, which is a really, really nice name. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it <laughs> Thank is. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> diba Candice? Nice branding, diba Candice? Wow. Very to the point. unique. Yeah. <laughs> so alam mo ka agad ng plant yun eh, Dahon. <laughs> Oo. Diba? Uh, thank you, Char. <laughs> so there, um, we just recently launched mga... I don't know, last month lang yata siya. Nag, mm-hmm. May nag-relaunch, Anna. So, medyo busy-busy na po. Um, and then besides that, so there is Kamagon, mm-hmm. um, which started last year, pero before I joined in as a partner, na-established na, na siya, I think mga 2014. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so medyo dugay na po. And then, last year, mura na mo siya gi... Sabi tawag, ano? I'm not sure how it's called. Pero, um, kaning four or five may kabok ani mm-hmm. mga kauban ako sa work sa una, sa corporate pa. Mm-hmm. And then, so kato, we decided to join in as partners. Mm-hmm. And then, there's that. nice. That's nice. So yeah, kam- I think so. Come on, <laughs> it's nice to have business and friends. Mom put good case. Yeah, uh-oh. that's true. You and you get to talk about difficult things put by without. Exactly. Uh oh. Uh, to the din sa amin ni Candice, like shopper were friends before before business, uh, diba? So parang sometimes yung business meeting namin, uh, it's an hour. Tapos yung Christmas namin, another hour din. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And maybe diba okay food shower. Yeah. Although ingon sila kay sometimes mm-hmm. it's challenging po labaw na kung friends imong kauban sa business. Mm-hmm. Business mm-hmm. kay dili gid usahay ma separate ang personal matters mm-hmm. sa ano. Yeah. But, but it's been working for me and I guess for you po. So. Yeah, yeah, it's been working so far Candice. No, I think so. Ikaw ba? Oh. <laughs> Wala siyang tingog. Oo, oh, wala siyang comment. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. Oh, okay naman. Kasi we, we try to, ano naman, we try to um, para make everything naman in black and white din. Uh, kasi dyan, diba? Kasi oh, of course, mm. business is business, diba? So we separate yeah, the business yeah, side. Um, and then, of course, uh, para, um, Iba din yun sa, for formalities and then iba din yung friendship namin which is I think it's a good point na gagawa ka ng business with someone you actually uh, you're comfortable trust, with trust. Yeah, and you trust mm-hmm. yes. and, diba? <clears throat> and then yun nga um, nakadigdag din yung parang age gap namin konti konti lang konti lang naman mga <laughs> <laughs> 10 years <laughs> Yeah. Joke lang, joke. Tsaka, uh-huh. yun nga. Okay so, lang, madawa, trapo na mo siya. <laughs> <laughs> is. So, yeah. So, it's nice. So, guys, so Jen is, uh, as Jen said, guys, uh, she's a uh, travel consultant. She's a, uh, she's been in the freelancing world for six years. And then, on that side, uh, after yan, meron din siya mga own businesses. Like, um, they, she's a co-owner of Dahon Hub and she's also a partner of Kamagon Business Solutions. So, yeah. <laughs> so Jen, what was your aha moment or can you share or describe to us the time you realized na you wanted to become a freelancer? Um, my my reason wasn't very or as intentional as everyone would think maybe. Kasi oban I understand that it's like a big shift, good, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. from kanang corporate setting. So I understand ga ang uban kay kan mangandam gid sila to shift to freelancing. <laughs> but mine wasn't yes. really like that. Um kay before so before ko na freelance sa BPO ko for like 8 years I think, mm-hmm. 8 plus years. Oh. And then um during my sa kon last year sa BPO nag start na ko og freelance on the side. So I was writing articles for uh, this friend, si Jane, gani. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. I was writing articles for her and then na put ko na try nga more project management siya for like, a web design agency. Mm-hmm. So I've already started doing that on the side while mm-hmm. employed pa ko sa BPO. Mm-hmm. And it was really challenging mm-hmm. kay wala jud koy time. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why I said yes to the projects kay grabe gid got <laughs> Uh, busy ako schedule sa B, uh, sa yeah. BPO, BPO but I mm. sa video <laughs> I, did yes, I did it so <laughs> but you find ways problem. <laughs> yes I found ways pero medyo yeah. nagka-problema ako dito which I will share later yeah okay. so when I finally quit the corporate Chenis, the corporate mm. world <laughs> yeah I did not do a lot of preparations actually mm. I just I just asked my sister to lend me her like old laptop. Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't want to buy anything new because mm-hmm. it wasn't, you understand, right? Like from corporate to freelance, yeah. 
unsure gid siya ka ayaw oh, ko na. Oo, uh, syempre, mm-hmm. hindi siya stable eh, diba? Kasi oh, parang, exactly. you're gonna start everything from scratch then. And then, you're gonna test the waters pa eh, diba? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I didn't want to invest good uh, in a exactly. new laptop or new anything. Mm-hmm. So I think more na siya mga 10 year old na laptop. I said, can I borrow it and then mm-hmm. you know just return or pay you and eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what I did as uh, sa, sa beginning and then I did not return to the corporate world anymore. Diba? So, that was that was Ooh. it. That was the shift again. Yeah, and she has never looked back, diba? <laughs> Until no, now. I, don't, I honestly, honestly do not miss the corporate world again. <laughs> Like I had friends and I missed my friends kind na, na meet na ko sa, sa BPO but mm-hmm. I don't miss the settings so kind of more Yeah. Mm-mm. I really don't. Just, oh. And you're working from home then, diba? Uh, or like sa home ka talaga hindi ka nag-work sa parang mga co-working space na ngayon. Uh now oh, home lang din. <laughs> Pero um <laughs> nay nay periods Eh, pero dili po, oh, home gid ako ang base. Mm-mm. Although, nine times na, syempre, pagka na marag gusto ni mag-different environment. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yaka na medyo na, marag work na feel. Yeah. So, uh-huh. I, nag-add to kong mga co-working spaces, pero, like, one day lang, ano, or a few mm-hmm. hours lang. Yeah. Totoo. Yes, guys, I remember before, I think, uh, we were still parang hanging out konti before dyan, no? While well, you were, you guys were in the BPO. Tapos parang stress mm-hmm. talaga kayo lagi, di ba? All you guys are talk, are Lahat ng sinasabi nila, Candice is puro stress. <laughs> stress. <laughs> in Uh-oh. mo lagi, muuli lang siya ko sa una par maligo o matulog. Ano. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, welcome to the freelancing world. Noon pa, actually. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so parang yung journey mo dyan isn't like parang sobrang structured siya na, aha, ganun. So parang it just happened slowly, di ba? Parang slowly nangyari oh, siya. Hanggang okay. sa, it became like, um, parang parang ayoko na bumili si corporate parang at eh, nag work for me yung freelancing di ba mm, parang yep, nag, yeah. nag work lang siya slowly so yeah uh, uh, probably I think the same thing with us then Candice no parang we started mm-hmm. sa side hustling hanggang sa ano mayon yun ayaw mo na oo hanggang sa ayaw mo oh, na talaga bumalik sa pwede man na this can work oh, oh. <laughs> yeah okay. so ano yung biggest failure mo and how did you overcome it and what lessons have you learned from those failures? So, kanisha to ako gay mention ganina nga katanggi dunga na ko ang corporate and uh, freelancing. So, medyo na wala sa ko ato and duha man to sila ka clients. Mm-hmm. The other one, a friend man ako ang isa. So, you know, I had to like. Kumbaga, between a friend and a stranger, pilihan siya ako akong friend, no? <laughs> so, katang isa ka project kay, I stopped, murag, either, ambut, I don't think it was deliberate, pero I stopped responding to the client na giyod. Mm-hmm. Kay, dili na gid siya kaya sa akong bandwidth. And then, <laughs> kato siya nga client, nakuha na ko siya sa Upwork. So, which means, pwede siya mag-leave o bad reviews ako. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh-oh. Right? Oh, oh. So, which he did. He actually did. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, so, ingon siya nga sa start, it was really great working with Jennifer and Asha and then eventually she stopped communicating. Mm-hmm. So, kitagang ako niya, I think, more two out of five. Mm-hmm. So, and then, you know, sa Upwork, di ba, pwede man mo na siya i-hide but yeah. Siyempre, nga na, i-hide man mo siya, di ba? So, mm-hmm. you have to accept nga you really screwed up sa mong previous na project. So, mm-hmm. kung ito siya ang kanang black mark sa ako, ang freelancing history, good na, rin siya sa Upwork. <laughs> and then, kanang pag nai new clients, although dili tanan mag-ask, but some clients do ask. Mm-hmm. Nga, nga na to siya, nga nung 2 out of 5 ba to siya, na uh-huh. Mm-mm. So the lesson there is you really have to communicate, especially kung ano mga challenges ni mo sa imong project. Mm-mm. Kung dili na makaya, magsulti lang juga. Ikatung e morag na wala gid ko sa passing at to and wala na po na ako sa gabalikan. Yeah. I did not really think about. I guess because I still had uh, like a stable job, so I really did not think it would affect me Mm-mm. in the long run. Yeah, but it did. So mato siya communicate lang gid very very important. <laughs> yeah guys, uh totoo yan. Even even uh, I remember for before parang since sobrang loose namin yung parang I think $2000 na project. 
because of lack of communication or proper communication. Yung ganun. Mm-hmm. Sa parang hindi namin kinimunicate sa kanila kung uh, ano ibig sabihin nung, nung brief nila. Kasi sometimes hindi mo kasi maintindihan, di ba? Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Tapos parang go, go ka lang ng go. Ganun. Hanggang sa parang, yun nga, um, yun nga, nagalit yung client. Although wala kami sa Upwork nun. Hindi nasa review sa agency na namin yun. Pero still, parang pinagsabi niya sa iba. Pinagsabi niya sa iba na uh, ayoko na mga pag-work sa team nila, Margaret. Pagkata sabi niya na tag na to na magpa-file daw siya. Uh, hahanapin daw niya yung laws of Philippines before your way back when. Ah, hindi nga nang ano doon, no? Yeah. Oh. Hahanapin, daw, hahanapin daw niya yung laws of Philippines ng commerce kung paano daw ba daw yung parang ano sa atin kung hindi na, na hindi mo na deliver yung product as it was advertised or something. So, mm-hmm. parang, uh, so oh. magkahanap daw siya. Parang ganun. But eventually, um, with the uh, back and forth na pag, ano ko, nag, ano talaga ako, nag, yung parang, ano may, nag-apologize ako on everything. Hindi naman niya tinuloy. Ay yung, ano niya. But yeah, it was a, a failure sa communication ng project manager ko that time. Mm. But yeah, I understand. <laughs> so if you're curious about the Super Freelancers course, which is a course for Filipino freelancers on how to fast track your freelancing career in 21 steps, we have something for you as our podcast listener. Please go to articleandesign.com slash enroll dash here to be the first to know when we launch and get 500 pesos discount code on the upcoming course. This is exclusive for our podcast listeners only. So thanks for taking your time. So, uh, <clears throat> so proper communication, Jenna, no? Very important. Don't go steer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So our our next question, Jen, is um, what advice would you give someone wanting to pursue a career similar to yours? I would say that you have to be prepared mm-hmm. sa lack of structure, mm-hmm. um, especially oh, yeah. if you're coming off of kanang sa corporate setting. Everything is kanang magibayhatag mm-hmm. kasi mo sa manager and just yeah. do your job and then punch out. So pag mag freelance ka or when you start your own business kay you really have to learn how to control exactly. your time <laughs> yeah. okay it's so easy to kana ganing na idea sa kana mo rag ah i don't want to do anything today wala bito mangita <laughs> and if you give into that kay mawala jud ka sa imong goals sa passing so mm-hmm. it's very important to be prepared yeah uh, singon anak nga na setting, a mind mm-hmm. setting din siya. Yeah. Um, wala yung mangita sa mo kay you really have to do something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and then besides that, kay kung mag freelance ka, you have to take care of your own finances. Um, yeah. Exactly. So benefits, no one is going to give you a free kadang health card, so mm-hmm. you have to get your take own. Care. Get your own, pay your SSS or whatever. Mm-hmm. You kind of build up your pension plan, Rihanna. So yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you have to take care of those things. Kay more daghan pug dili kanang prepared ana kay mm-hmm. bakapoy mo gud fill out of everything. Oye kay kung yeah. ka sa corporate kay mong HR mo bahala na tanan. But no. <laughs> you do it yourself. Nagit if you go this way. And then another important thing for me, kung especially kung sa balay na ka magwork, mm-hmm. kaya you have to separate your personal active uh, life, kana activities ni mo sa personal life, <laughs> you have to set boundaries, uh-huh. um, because even family members, kung dili sila familiar sa mong work, kaya they they will not understand, kana feeling yeah. nila kana computer na ka. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> diba? Niya ka nang manuktok sila si Muha ba? Ka nang murag, na sila'y pumutan na. Ka nang murag, wait lang. <laughs> Namo ko'y trabaho. So, <laughs> nga na, you have to set your boundaries. And what has helped me kay, nag, mag-set up sa kag imuang murag office, murag Uh-oh. kind of, Word desk. Uh-oh. Diba? Oo, oh, yung nana, para murag naapod sila sense of, ka nang mag ah sa mo iyang work area nga mm-hmm. nagwe ko sa kwarto na ka kay mura ra jud kag nag computer kan mm-hmm. mag internet na ka the entire day <laughs> so which uh-huh. you know you can't blame them but you, it's something that you have to live with yeah yeah and, totoo i agree totoo di ba kan this na experience mo din yan 
Um, sa mga pamangkin oh, mo oh. sometimes, nandiyan. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, walang ano, anong bang tawag diyan? Walang sense of privacy. <laughs> Minsan, <Uh-oh>. <laughs> they don't know na you are working. But diba? I'm I'm oh, I'm curious. Ano yung ano parang scope ng work ng travel consultant? Mm, yeah. Um so ang ako ang client is kuan man gud siya um New Zealand travel lang siya so medyo mm-hmm. na limit po ang scope oh. mm-hmm. um but mainly kay mga mag-build kag itinerary for the clients mm-hmm. or answer questions about destinations inana mm-hmm. siya um katong mm-hmm. sa BPO pa ko sa una katong first few uh, first year na ako sa BPO kay travel agency po to siya mm-hmm. um, so, so medyo connected siya uh uh-uh. Oh, so medyo na convinced ako kung client nga. <laughs> I-hire ko niya kaya ako experience yeah. like uh, travel consultancy. Um, so yan na siya. But we don't process payments. Mm-hmm. One lang siya. Mainly ka ng inquiries lang siya about mm-hmm. traveling mm-hmm. to New Zealand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and Interesting. Uh, yeah, and si Jen, kasi Candice, she's... She's also a traveler. <laughs> Tama ba? Oh. Um, siya mag- Again. La again, kumbaga. Uh, La. Uh, <laughs> Iba lahi siya no, lahi siya. Oh, <laughs> connotation ko <laughs> yung traveler of Agga. Yeah, right. uh, she, she's uh, she's been she's been traveling of course before COVID and now. Parang she's been you've been traveling a lot, the vision. Oo. Yes, mo na siya ako ang pinaka favorite nga part gid sa freelancing mm-hmm. na kanang mergi can work anywhere mm-hmm. um but uh, it applies to kanang virtual na freelancers yeah. right? but uh-uh. mm-hmm. mo na siya ang naka ang nag make up sa kung first few years sa freelancing <laughs> kanang murag i hop off gid kanang work every one two months kay i go to another destination and work from there and yeah Mm-hmm. Kato medyo bata-bata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the beauty of it, di ba? So that's the beauty of freelancing, guys. Like, yung parang, um, you have, flexibility you have, sa you have the flexibility mga... talaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kasi mm-hmm. nakikita ko na lang sa Instagram ni, ni Jen before is nandun na naman siya sa, one time nandito siya sa China, I, I don't know, whatever, uh, Taiwan. Know, Taiwan pala, Taiwan. <laughs> oh, Tapos mamaya nandiyan na naman siya sa Sagada. Ah. Ano ba yun? Kasi yung throwback na pag doon, yung nakit an oy. Oh, baka nga, baka nga. Pero inaantay ko na lang, inaantay ko na lang na bisitahin niyo ako dito hanggang ngayon wala ko. <laughs> so, yeah. COVID pa, COVID. Oo nga. Okay. So, um, yeah. Next question, John, is what is the common myth? Ito, I'm very interested dito. What is the common mm-hmm. myth about your profession or your industry mo that you want to debunk? Common myth? I think mm-hmm. makarelate mo ani ka ng feeling nila kayo. Wala kayo schedule. <laughs> Naka na ganyan. Anytime, ka na ganyan. Anytime pwede ka na invite ka na. Abi nila wala kayo trabaho. Yeah. Oo. Oh, <laughs> free ka 24 hours. Oh, True. which annoys me to no end. Good na ka na murag. Naama ko yung trabaho. Wala lang ko sa office. Hala exactly. Boy. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. And then you have to explain yourself every time. Good. Every single time. Naka na murag. Na-invite na ka na murag. 10 a.m. Kaya naman ko trabaho 10 a.m. Kaya naman ko sa balay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. but na ako yung trabaho. Yeah, na. So, which yeah. happens to all of us, I think. I think, yeah. Maka-annoy gin siya. <laughs> Oo. I think kasi yung iba kasi pa, uh, John, uh, dili- pa nila kaayong ma-understand ang freelancing world, diba? Like, for example, mm-hmm. sa akin, pag sasabihin ko, um, hey, Margaret, magano tayo, uh, punta tayo, uh, kain tayo mamaya sa ano, ganun. Um, kita tayo, um, coffee tayo. Sabi ko, ay, may meeting pa ako. Pero yung nagtataka sila, anong meeting? Wala ka na ba trap out? Diba? Exactly. Anong meeting? Kasi like, uh, like for us, the diba, freelancers, we also have to talk to the clients. Like, we have to uh, mm-hmm. get on a Zoom, get on a Skype, or, ano may, like, even kami ni Candice, we call our uh, meeting as meeting, talaga, our recording yes. meeting. And then, so, like, ako, I call it generally as meeting. So, parang hindi na iintindihan ng iba na meeting. <laughs> Wala ka naman trabaho doon ang meeting. Diba na ako sa balay? So, may meetingan ninyo. Diba? Parang nasa bahay ka lang. Anong meeting? Gani. So, I mean, hopefully, karoon nga tungod sa 
pandemic, maka yeah. understand na sila. Like, mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are working from home now. Mm-hmm. So, I hopefully that will change the way they see yeah. kanang remote work. Okay, mura siya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember one time na kanang nag koan na uh, free diving mi ba and then, so there was mm-hmm. like a group of people na free divers ako nang pangutan ana yung same work or same work asa kanang work na ko sa balay na maybe partly <laughs> it's my fault pod no ako na ang akong introduction sa yeah. work kay nanana ba lay back lang oh. kanang sa balay lang uh-huh. no so i think more more pod dela ang perception nga kanang sa balay oh. hindi ka wala <laughs> aso pwede ni ka ugma oh, mandi quit dili kina ko work one day <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, so yeah, yeah. Totoo, guys, I totally agree with you. Um, ano dyan, totoo. Common myth talaga yan sa ating mga freelancers mm-hmm. na akala nila wala din tayong schedule, na wala din tayong time, na akala nila 24-7th, oh, Gora, pwede mo lang kalad ka rin. Diba? <laughs> kalad diba? Ka, diba? <laughs> At ito, tagmati, oh, ma. Oh, oh diba? Work, oh, ma. <laughs> oh, diba? Mag-surf tayo. <laughs> diba? Mag- mag-free diving tayo. Diba? <laughs> Alam mo yung ganun? Um, yeah, totoo yan. Kasi, like, kahit kami nga ni Jen noon, eh, diba nagsuswimming tayo dyan? Um, mm. We have to schedule pa nga eh, yung swimming namin. Kasi both of us, we understand na may mga schedule kami. Diba? As freelancers. So, parang, okay lang tayo mag-swimming. O, sige, sige, ganito. Sige, ganito. Anong what time? Yung ganun, ganun. Ay, may meeting pa ako. Ay, may ano kami. <laughs> diba? So, at least kami. Yeah. Uh, we understand each other na there's a schedule ang mga freelancers. Pero yung mga friends natin na um, hindi pa nila masyado alam yung freelancing world, para ang, ang ano nila, ang thinking nila sa atin is, eto si Margaret, eto si Jen, eto si Candice, mga kalad ka rin to. Go! <laughs> uh-huh. O oh, mati, uma, mandi. Uh-huh. Ano na yun? Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. So guys, uh, may schedule din po kami. Actually, mas mahirap pa minsan eh. <laughs> diba? Kasi nga nasa bahay oh, kami. Wala po tayong holidays. Wala yung holidays. Dude. Wala kami holidays. Wala, tapos, wow. yung holiday na po, <laughs> hindi yun, hindi holiday, hindi yun namin holiday. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Ayun. So, yeah, that's true. Um, so, next question. Um, Jen is, can you leave us with your favorite quote to motivate our fellow, super corny, no? Pero please do. Um, to, <laughs> with, your, with your favorite quote to motivate our fellow super freelancers and mga creative entrepreneurs natin na tulad mo din. Ano ba yung pinaka-favorite quote mo na parang when you feel down or uh, binabasa mo siya or is in remind me yourself mo or whenever nagkaroon ka ng failure, um, bunabalikan mo siya or any, any quote lang na parang may impact talaga sa'yo sa life mo in general. So, kanigi, overthink na ko ni siya. Kaya mara na, oh, wait, no. <laughs> to live by. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, I guess, mura, not necessarily, I kind of, <clears throat> hindi siya uh, specific to freelancing, but mm-hmm. if it applies, then it's good. Uh-huh. Um, but, <clears throat> there is this quote by, um, kani erotika siya nga writer. Oi, this is really really a quote. Ha? I'm just saying she's an erotic. In case people look her up, so erotika or she's a writer. I don't mind. <laughs> Candice, do you mind? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Yang name is si kanang familiar mo si Mercedes si Anais Nin, ah, a French uh-huh. Cuban na erotica writer. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. The quote is, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Personally, ako ang connection sa dani na quote is kanam dili ko ganahan nga makonfine or ma-restrict mm-hmm. bitaw ko. Or mag, I value my freedom so much. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. pag na ay, for example, kanam mga personal nga limitations kay gusto na ko na sila a challenge just mm-hmm. because I do not want to be confined in that space na mm-hmm. uh, a very good example kay swimming so si Mayat mm-hmm. was my instructor yeah <laughs> so, my, mas magaling na siya person. sa akin ngayon <laughs> dyan <laughs> so I think it was like asa ba to 20 dugay na no 2016 or 17 yeah. na na so, hindi ko pa lang mag-swim. So, I asked Maya to teach mm-hmm. me how to do it. Because one time, nga nag, um, nag island hopping man siguro to. And then, mm-hmm. everyone was ka nang working. Swimming, swimming sila ba? Unya, nalain ko. Maka naman, mm-hmm. ganun, hindi na ako siya. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be in that space. Maka naman, naibog ako. Maka naman, yeah. what can I do about it? 
Uh-oh. So, umunta siya. I took the challenge and then nagpatulog ko kay Mayet and then eventually nag learn ko how to free dive yeah. para dili na ako mahadlock sa lalom and then So, so ngayon so, Candice, mas magaling pa siya sa akin. So, super galing na. Oo, tinuro ko siya yung basic par. lang, basic lang. Uh, yung mga fun things lang, ganun mga basta basic lang, di ba? Uh, uh Jen. So, sa afternoon ngayon, free diver na siya, Candice. Tas ako hindi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's that. So you mm-hmm. you have to, or for me, it's mm-hmm. important to be, to have the courage to do what you want to do. See? Si, mm-hmm. right? So, yes. like freelancing, if you really want to be a freelancer and mm-hmm. if you're afraid to lose a stable job, a stable income, mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. have to have the courage to jump off the fence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totoo. Yeah. So guys, that's really um uh, that's really good. I leave namin yung ano, and leave namin yung quote na yon, tsaka yung author because it's really it's a really really nice ano um quote. Pwede siya kasi uh, applyin mo siya in general eh, sa life mo, di ba? And um it, of course, like Tuesday Saturday Jan, even so freelancing then. Have the courage, di ba Candice? Uh, sinasabi <laughs> din natin sinasabi din natin sa mga members natin just have the courage um, to decide parang you have to decide to become di ba Jen mm, uh, mm, if, yeah. if you want like si Jen oh, she wanted to know uh, paano mag swim paano mag free dive she decided to become and she's she's good she's a free diver now diba? tapos yung coach niya dati hindi marunong mag free diver <laughs> <laughs> so, ako naman tuturuan mo next time, Jan. Pag-hawi ako, Jan. Sige, sige, sige. Uh, If you have the courage. Yeah, I do have. I do have. <laughs> to become. <laughs> to become. <laughs> so, yeah. So, our last question. Wow, parang bilis. <laughs> so, our last question, Candice, is... Um, okay, so, Jan, where can our listeners connect with you online or what project you'd like us to check out? Um, my Instagram is private, so you cannot connect. <laughs> But <laughs> um, I would appreciate it if you check out our plant shop, um, Dahon Hub. It's on Instagram, mm-hmm. and then yeah. um, you can also check out Tamagon Business Solutions if mm-hmm. you're interested. If you are looking for um, freelance projects, sometimes you have job openings there mm-hmm. as well. So. Mm-hmm. Um, Kamagon Business Solutions is on Facebook mainly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and Dahon Hub is on Instagram. Um, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we will leave the links about, below guys para ano, you can check out uh, Dahon Hub kasi mm-hmm. lalo na ngayon uh, we are all working from home kailangan natin ng ano, mga plant oxygen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, kailangan natin ng mga um, mga good and you know, good um, oxygen and then paano din sa radiation tama ba ako diyan nakaano din sa radiation ikaw man ang bayo ikaw na ikaw na plant mom ngayon eh di ba <laughs> so yeah guys not sure about radiation but uh, oxygen <laughs> Yeah, but sabi din nila. Sabi lang nila. Sabi lang. <laughs> oh, but yeah, um yeah guys, uh, at saka yung plants nakaka ano siya eh nakaka alicia na stress, di ba? Pag tinitingnan mo siya. Tapos pag, di ba Candice, uh, we introduced Freelancia dito sa podcast natin. I think second yeah. or third episode. Because uh, Candice is, Candice also has a um, parang tan- tanim plant uh, dyan called, pinangalanan namin siyang Freelancia. Freelancia. <laughs> <Or> freelancer. <laughs> ano siya? Air plant? Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Basta plant siya. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, guys, um, check out Dahon Hub, D-A-H-O-N, Dahon Hub, H-U-B, Dahon Hub, ilalagay namin dito yung link for your all your plant mm-hmm. needs. So, they offer pickup in Tag- Davao and also in Tagum City. And also for um, um, yung virtual office solutions uh, agency, Camagon Business Solutions. Yeah, so, check it out. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. We hope you resonated with Jen's story as a freelancer and also you have learned lessons from her biggest failures and now she overcame all her failures as a freelancer. So Jen, do you still have something to say to our listeners? (laughs) You can do it. (laughs) If you've been planning for so long, 
if yeah. you always wanted to be a freelancer, you can do it. Yeah. Um, and A and D has a lot of resources to help you out, guys. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll put in the description box below all the links where you can connect with Jen online and her projects as well. So thank you for listening to this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thanks Jen. Bye. Thank you. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to this podcast. We have new episodes every Wednesday. Subscribe to Super Freelancers PH on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Breaker, or wherever you may find your podcast. Also, if you think someone can benefit from this, please feel free to share. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. And we hope this episode will help you to become the super freelancer and inspire you to be globally competitive. And we hope this podcast helped you in bringing out the best version of yourselves. So we appreciate if you can leave us any comments for the guys and uh, share your um, experiences because uh, we'd lo- we-, we love to hear from you. Okay, so you guys are the superheroes of the digital world. We appreciate you and have fun in freelancing. Thanks for listening to the Super Freelancers PH with Candice and Margaret. If you'd like us to discuss certain topics about Filipino freelancing skills and tips, please connect with us through our social media accounts. On Facebook, we are called Article and Design. On Instagram, our handle is article underscore design. And join us on our Facebook group called Super Freelancers PH.